you tired of the limitations that you get with the default WordPress templates? Then building your custom template or customizing a pre-made template for your WordPress website is an easy way to dress up your website with additional functionality and design. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to take a look at how we can create a custom page template for our WordPress website using powerful page builders like Divi. So if you want to ramp up the look of your WordPress website, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV page builder. All right. So for this example, let's say we have a blog website and for this, we are going to create a custom page template for our blog archive page, or it's better known as the index page for our blog categories, where we are going to list all the blog posts in a particular category. So let's see how we can do that. So here we are in our WordPress backend and we already have Divi installed. And if you go in our post, I have just added some sample posts here and created few categories. So if you go in the category section here, so we have three categories here. And let's say we open up in the front end and see how it looks. So this is a default look of our Divi theme. We have our blog post, a big thumbnail on the top and title a little bit of excerpt. So this is the default look we have with the Divi theme. So let's go ahead and customize this page and create a custom page layout for this category archive page or the index page for our categories. So for that, there are few different ways which we can go for. And let me show you each one of them one by one. Now, in order to build a custom page template in Divi, we have Divi Visual Builder or Divi Theme Builder. So if you go in Divi and then click on Theme Builder here, this is the place where we can create different type of page templates for our Divi website. And right now we have this default website template, which got our global header, global footer and the main body template. So in order to create a custom page template, we need to create a new template. So we click on this. And here we have a two options, build a new template or add from library. So we can use the Divi pre-made library of templates and create the template from there. So, but right now we are going with build new template. So let's see how it goes. And this opens up a new pop-up where we need to select where our new custom template will be reflected. So in this case, we are going to create a template for our post archive page. So under the archive pages, we have all category pages. So the template that we are going to create will be reflected only on the category pages. So whenever we open a category page like this one, our custom template will be visible. So with that selected, let's click on create template. And now we have a new template for all category pages. And in order to build elements in our template, we need to click on add custom body. So let's click on this. And again, it's asking us two options, whether we want to build a custom body from scratch or we want to add something from library. Now, when we use the build custom body option, there we get a blank slate where we can add all the modules from Divi Visual Builder to create our custom page. But in order to save time, we can go ahead and use add from library. If you click on this, it's going to open up the Divi layout pack with a lot of templates that we can choose from. And here on the left hand side, we have a search option and we have different categories to filter out. And if we search blog in this search box, it's going to filter out all the templates that are available for the blog. So here we have this layout. We can also choose a fashion style blog page like this one, or maybe this one, a writer blog page. So depending upon your website look and feel, you can choose any ready-made template from here. So for this example, let's say I'm going to go with writer blog page. If I click on this template, here we can see a quick preview of the template. And this particular template is actually part of the full layout pack, which consists of eight pages. So we can create contact event about and other pages using this complete layout pack. But right now we are going to choose only this page. So we can click on view live demo and it's going to open up a new tab. And here we can see the demo of the blog archive page. And in order to add this on our template, we just need to click on use this layout. So if we click on this, it's going to start importing all the layout elements and modules on this page. So within no time, it's already done. And once we are done, we just need to click on save changes. 
and let's see how it looks in the front end. And here we have it, our custom archive page for our category pages. And now of course, we can go ahead and edit the headings and different elements on this page. So let's see how we can do that. So we come back here in our theme builder and for our custom body in the new template, let's click on this pencil icon here. And it's going to take us into the DV visual builder where we can edit this particular template. And now for this text, which is our text module, we can click on this cog icon here. And then we have this heading and instead of this static heading, we can use this dynamic content option here. If you click on this here, we can choose the post archive title. So if we click on this, it's going to display the title of our category. So once we are done, let's click on save and below that we have our blog role. So again, this is a complete module. If we click on the cog icon here, we can see the settings for this module. And for this one, let's say we check on post from current page. So if we turn this on, it's going to show us the posts that are listed only in that particular category. And then we can play around with various settings as well. Let's say we want to reduce the excerpt length. So we can just type in 50 here. So we can see we have a smaller excerpt now, which looks much better now. And once we are done, we can just simply click on save and then we can click on these three dots at the bottom and save the changes we have made. And if we close this and save changes here as well, and if we refresh the front end, now you can see right now we are in the news category. So we see the title as news, which is our category title. And we only see the blog post that are listed in this particular category only. Let's say we want to click on the tech category. Here we can see the title tech and the blog posts that are only added in this particular category. So this is how we can use the DV layout pack to create the entire blog archive page or any custom page template as we want. Now let me show you another amazing way by which you can generate not just a custom archive page, but your entire DV website. So let's see how it works. So we come back here in DV and we go to dashboard. And here we have an option for Divi Quick Sites. So if we click on generate a new site, here we again get two options. Use pre-made starter sites, which is going to use the pre-made layout templates from Divi library, or we can generate the site using Divi AI. So let me first show you how you can use Divi pre-made starter templates. So let's select the website template. So here we get a lot of website templates that we can choose from. So let's say we scroll down a little bit and here we have a business coach website. So here we can see a quick preview of this site. So let's click on this and it's going to open up the layout like this. And here we can see different pages for the site. And this looks pretty professional and clean. So if we click on this here, we have an option for start with business coach site template. So let's click on this. And now we have an option to give our site a name. So we can give it a sample name here and we can also give a site slogan. So if you have one, you can add it here. And then we have an option to upload a logo. So if you have a logo for your company or the website you are building, you can upload right here. And then an amazing part is we have option for choosing the pages that you want to generate. So it is going to create about contact services and all these pages. But just in case, if you don't want to create shop page, you can uncheck that. If you don't want to create a service page, you can also uncheck that. Or if you just want to generate a blog archive page, you can simply click on only blog page. And this is only going to generate the blog page for you. So right now I'm just going to keep all these pages checked, but not the shop one. And then we click on generate and publish my site. So it's going to take a few seconds in the back end to process all the inputs and it's going to generate our entire website with all the custom pages and templates. So here we have it. We have our website pages so we can see all the pages created by Divi Quick Site. And the best part is we now have custom template for various pages like search result, 404 pages, our category pages and a blog post pages. So all that is done using custom templates that we can edit later on. So now if we open up the site in a new tab, this is how our website looks pretty cool. And if you go onto the blog section, this is how our blog page looks like. And this looks amazing. So here we have a slider for our blog post. 
And if we click on any of these categories, like from here, we can see the archive page template here. Let's say we click on any other category. It's going to update the category title on the top. And we have the blog post in that particular category only. And once again, if we want to edit any of these templates, we can simply click on the pencil icon from here, or we can go to theme builder. And here we can see all the template that we got. And here is our all category page template. So we can click on this pencil icon and go back again in the DV visual builder and do all the required editing. So this is how you can create some amazing looking website with all the custom pages and templates using DV quick sites. And for those who are not using Divi, we have something for you as well. If in case you are not using Divi, you can still create custom templates for various pages of your website. If you are using a theme which is based on full site editing, you can still create any type of page template for your website. If you want to learn more about that, we have a complete tutorial on our blog post that we will link in the video description below. So if in case you want to learn how to create custom templates with full site editing, check out the blog post that you will add in the video description below. So creating a custom WordPress page template can significantly enhance your website's functionality and aesthetics. Using tools like Divi Theme Builder, you can tailor your website design to reflect your brands better and meet your users' needs. Whether building from scratch or customizing a pre-made template, these methods provide flexible solution for creating professional and dynamic web pages. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.